So I'm Elaine Hebe. I am the director of the library at the MHS, um, and I have been there for about 14 and a half years. So the item that I picked um, is a letter from Abraham Lincoln to Joshua Fry Speed that we have in our Waterston autograph collection. The letter I just find fascinating. I I came upon it myself for the first time um, back in 2008 or so. Um, I was working on an exhibition. We were staging an exhibition to mark the 200th anniversary of, um, of Lincoln's birth. Um, and I was working on curating that exhibition. And in doing that, I was trying to lay hands on every Lincoln document we had in our collection. It is an eight page letter that I just feel that every page of it is, is interesting and historically significant. I think that one of the things that's special about the letter is that um, in the early pages of the letter, Abraham Lincoln's talking about slavery um, with Speed who was from a slave holding family. And he talks about, Lincoln talks about how he himself, you know, finds slavery repugnant and, you know, how seeing slavery, slave ships on the, on the river in Kentucky, like, would make him sick to his stomach. Um, and from what I understand, it's one of the very few examples of Lincoln talking about slavery before his presidency. But to me, the, the most striking part of the letter is the very last page, page and a half, where there's a quote that I know is, it's, a fam it's famous amongst um, Lincoln quotes, you know, Lincoln scholars are very familiar with it. It's nothing secret. It's this one quote where he um, talks about the Know Nothing Party and is, you know, saying that, you know, that originally it read all men are created equal. And he kind of goes through how, to, how the definition of that um, is narrowing and narrowing. Um, and at the end, he says, you know, that he eventually he would just like to live in Russia where they make, you know, no no pretense at being a um, democratic society. It's just one of those things, like every time I read it, I get goosebumps, you know, like, and today talking to you, um, as I was thinking about this this morning, um, I remember reading it in 2008 and just being like, wow, like how interesting that this is still so relevant in these times that we're living in. Uh, <laughs> and now here we are, um, you know, 12 years later. And it's like, wow, <laughs> it really shows that, um, some of the issues that we currently grapple with in terms of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and what those mean for the citizens of the United States and what they were originally intended to mean for the citizens of the United States um, is not a, a new argument. You know? um, in 1855, that, that same conversation was still happening.